Greetings and welcome to the Relationality Podcast. I'm Dr. Gwendolyn Henry, your host and certified relationship coach. In each episode, I will be sharing real and relative truths on love and dating to help prepare and position Christian singles for a fulfilling romantic relationship. So ladies and fellas, if you are dating and waiting, you've come to the right place. So get ready to grow and lay some groundwork for a successful marriage. Hey y'all, in this episode, we're going to be talking about dress to express. And it's geared more towards the ladies, but fellas, you can learn it, take it, and share it with the women in your world. Have you ever had someone say something to you that was truthful or possibly meaningful, but you weren't receptive to what they said because of how they said it? Sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. And so, ladies, how you dress is an expression of your spirit and soul's DNA. So what do you want your soul and spirit to say? What you wear is kind of like your uniform of who you are as a person. It expresses what's going on internally. It expresses what's in your soul, what's in your spirit. I was giving one of my mentees a lesson on this. She had to go meet with a professional person regarding a financial matter for school. And so when she went to the meeting, she was wearing some ripped up jeans. And so I had to give her a little lesson about dressing. And so I told her, I said, how you dress determines how people perceive you. And I gave her an example as if I was the person who she was coming to meet. And I told her that if she would have come in my office dressed like that, I wouldn't have taken her seriously. As opposed to someone who would have come into my office who was dressed professionally with their folder in their hand, you know, I would have perceived them more seriously than someone who comes in with ripped up jeans. And I mean, and they, you know, they were ripped up jeans all the way up to her thigh. So they were like really ripped. And I said to her, I said, I would still help you because that's my job. That's what they pay me to do. But had you come in my office dress more professionally, I would help you and go even an extra mile or throw in some extras seeing that you mean business because you can't dress like business. And so basically I was teaching her to dress to express. I mean, I've worked in offices with some of the women. I mean, they would come to work and I mean some executive high end offices and they would come to work dress like they were going to the club and then they wonder why they don't get a certain level of respect. Well, you're not being taken seriously because of how you're presenting yourself, how you're dressing. People take you a certain type of way by the way you present yourself. And it's a principle applied professionally where they say, and I'm sure you guys have heard this, dress to impress. Well, it also applies personally. You dress to express And I know some people may disagree with that and say, well, I should be able to dress how I want to dress and it shouldn't have any impact on how I'm approached. And this is true. That's true. You grown, you can dress how you want to dress, but this is a principle to be applied if you want to be addressed with a certain type of attention. As a woman, you should dress modestly. Now, modestly don't mean homie. So I'm not talking about, you know, being homie to clown. (laughs) You can be fly and dress with sex appeal without being sleazy. You want a man to be attracted to your inner and outer beauty, not your body. Because of all he sees is body, he will bypass your beauty. And I know society focuses on the outer beauty, but as believers, God delights in inner beauty. And we should too. Now, I'm not saying a woman shouldn't beautify herself or beautify her outward appearance. Anybody that knows me. They know that I like to look good and I like to smell good. So I'm not preaching against that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about dressing in a manner that expresses godliness. And some women, they intentionally dress a certain type of way, showing all their goodies to draw a man and then try to change him into treating them a certain way and then have the nerve to get mad when he doesn't. But you should dress how you want to be addressed. If you want to be addressed like a classy woman with style and grace, then dress like one. If you don't want to be addressed like a sex object, then don't dress like one. Dress to express how you want to be addressed. 
Thanks so much for joining me this week. Before you go, make sure you share and subscribe to the podcast at GwendolynGlobal.com slash podcast. So you'll get all the new episodes as soon as they drop. And one more thing. I want to know what's on your heart. So hit me up with any ideas or questions you have on love and dating. I'm happy to share some of the top requests and respond to some top questions in upcoming episodes. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Dr. Gwendolyn Henry. Meet me next week for another episode of Relationality.